Dear friends, welcome to Programmer World's video. In this video, we will see how to enable or disable the GPS, like toggle the GPS from your Android app. And we will be using the intent which we will call from alert dialog. So let's begin. We will create a new project and empty activity. We will keep the layout simple. Uh, GPS switch on and off you can name this app anything of course and i click finish wait for my environment to load up once the environment loads up uh, this kind of video uh, screen will come up we'll go to the layout the xml file over here most likely we'll keep our uh, text view and we can use this to show the status of our uh, gps whether it's uh, on or off so I'll just mark it as a text view. I'll just increase the size of the text inside from 14 to probably say 20. And I will add two buttons. One button is to check the status of the GPS. So I'll just name this button as check GPS status. Okay. It's a little long, so I'll just move it on the left hand side. Put the respective constraints. And that's all. The other button most likely is to toggle or probably switch on the GPS. If not, if it's not on, then switch it on. GPS, perfect. And I'll put the constraints on this button as well. Yeah. And before I proceed, I'll quickly create two public method. Public void i missed a void i don't think anything is required to return check gps status view view yeah so this will be associated to one of the buttons where we'll check the status the other button will be to switch on button switch on gps again i'll put view view I think I again missed void over here. That's why it's giving some error. I'll go back to my layout and I'll assign this button on click attribute to the respective method. So I think this is switch on the GPS and the other one is to check the status of GPS. So check GPS status. Perfect. For this text view, we have anyway given the ID here in our layout. Over here, what we'll do is we'll create a class variable, not protected. I think it's can be a private class variable text view text view and in my own create method text view find view by id r dot id dot text view the, i will associate it with the respective uh, widget in the layout perfect what else we will require is we will require another private variable location manager this will use to get the status of our gps so in our own create itself we will associate it with the location service so i'll do is get system service and location service the second one that's it and we can cast it to the location manager so first we'll complete this first method where we'll check the status it's pretty simple in this we'll put an if else if my location manager dot is provided enabled and uh, we'll check which which uh, provider here we are looking for so we are here we are looking for gps provider and if it's enabled that means i will print it in the text view dot set text gps is on else we'll print text view dot set text gps is off Perfect. So this is just to keep the check on the status. Similarly, in this GPS switch on um, uh, method, here we'll switch on if the GPS is not on, which is off, like in this part. So what we'll do is we'll probably copy this if else control C, control V here also. We'll keep the text view as it is, and we'll if it's off, then we'll ask the user to switch it on. We'll give the right intent over here. So we'll create an alert dialog here. So alert dialog dot probably builder and we'll create a variable called alert dialog builder and 
we will create a new alert dialog builder this the context perfect now in this uh, alert dialog what we will do is we will create a message and the respective uh, action item for the message so set message and the message will be so in this case because the I think the message will be GPS is off we will print again GPS is disabled I, I, I am using the, some other the name here GPS is disabled and then I can ask that would you like to enable it yeah you can you can add anything over here and then there's few attributes which you can set so here I we can set is set probably cancelable uh, I can set it true yeah I would like it to be cancelable or oh, let's see how it comes up and also then there will be buttons we can put uh, one is the positive and the other is the negative button so positive button we can put is yes the text will be yes and then we have to also put what we'll do in the uh, on click listener once this button is pressed so here what we'll do is we'll create a new dialog interface dot on click listener this will automatically give you the method what whatever we want to do over here in the on clicks so we'll come to that later we'll proceed first and we'll set is set negative button also when when uh, like uh, what if we don't want it to cancel it so it will be no of course the text will be no so this is basically on this question would you like to enable it okay enable enable it so whether yes or no if it's no then that means user doesn't want to do anything so we'll just we'll create this dialog interface what we have created just above and i think that's all is what i feel here we'll put a semicolon here so we got two methods one is for positive one is for negative for negative it's pretty simple what we can do is we can create this dialog interface dot cancel however for this positive we have to start our intent so what we can do is we can start an activity and in terms of intent we can create a new intent here and this intent will be nothing but action location source settings so of course it's asking me to get the right name just press alt enter and it will i think no, no. yeah alt enter it will import the right class for that so if i expand this import i think this is what is important line number three anyway that android will auto automatically will take care so once we have it so this alert dialog will pop up and it will give two options yes and no and the respective actions will be taken so what else we can do is we can here we can print our alert dialog we can create an alert now from this so what we can do is we can create alert no no, no i think there's some spelling mistake alert dialog alert dialog and this will be to create and we can just alert dialog again i did a mis some mistake and show could be an option yes so this line number 68 will show up the my dialog let's see how it comes up in the app i am running the app in my emulator in the meantime i'll just do some kind of this cleanup perfect So let's wait for our, our emulator to come up and the app to run. So in the meantime, I'll just pause the video and I'll wait for my emulator to load. Uh, perfect. So video has come up, but it shows hello world over there. Most likely I'll go back and change this string to programmer world. I like to keep my channel's name here, programmer world. I'll rerun it to see how it comes up. Okay, it has reloaded, but I'm surprised it still shows hello world. I think I changed it, but it didn't go to change. I will have to change it again. Yeah, now it seems to be changed here. I'll quickly rerun it. 
I think last time it didn't get changed and I just switched uh, things. Yeah, it comes programmable. I click on my check status, it says GPS is on. So I'm pretty sure when I click this button, nothing should happen because it will just go here. And since it finds on, it will just print this on and go away, uh, go on. So I'll do one thing. I'll switch off the GPS, which is the location here. It shows off. Let's see what it comes up in this. So you, perfect. So it shows the dialog, the alert dialog, which we created over here. So GPS is disabled. Would you like to enable it? If you click no, I am pretty sure it will just do nothing. If I still see the status, it, it is still off. If I click again, it is again showing this dialog. By the way, if we click no, it just calls this line number 59 and it just cancels it. I click yes this time and see what happens. It goes to the location menu and asks me whether I want to switch it on or not. If I say yes, it will switch on. I come back to my app and bingo. So it's, it's now it's on no. And of course it will remain on if I click on this button, it will nothing happen because if it's on, it will just skip it. And of course you can rewrite this code in this part also and then uh, you can switch it off as well. You can go there by using this intent, but it's so simple. I'll switch off again, once again, to test my app again. GPS is off. Again, this is coming up. Perfect. So it's working perfectly fine. So that's all. I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put in the comments here. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. And